Guys, so I'm here making my removable quick weave bob. These are all the items I'm using in this video, which is the glue and premium now new yaki. I have two and a half packs and this spandex cap. And the color is 99J. And now I have Milky Way Invisible Park closure. So I took that closure and I sewed it onto the cap first. As you can see, it's on there really tight. And I have a little bit of leave out out and also around my edges. And I'm going to take this cap and put it around my hair to protect my hair from the glue. And I just put the bobby band pins on there so it can stay in place. And also a bobby pin next to my leave out so I can know where my leave out is at. And I just lined the closure up with that bobby pin as you can see. And just pin it on up. Now I'm just showing you the 99J color. So pretty. And the closure is a color 1B. So all I'm doing right now is basically putting the glue onto the weft and sticking the hair onto the cap. And do that all the way up till you get to the top. I know some of y'all are like, girl, I've seen you do this too many times, but somebody might not have seen it. So I just want to show you how to do it. It's pretty easy. Just press the track onto the cap and just let it stick. Some people use heat, but I just press my um, weft down for a couple of seconds and it just sticks really well. So again, the color is 99J. I used all one and a half packs on my head and the closure is a color 1B. That's it with all the gluing, all done. So now it's time to cut this hair on up. Now, um, you just take the plastic cap from under that cap and you cut the visible part area right there. So it makes it like a V or a U part or whatever you wanna call it. I did sew some combs onto it. So now I'm just gonna slide the wig on. I don't have to sew, I don't feel like sewing. So I just slide it on, it takes only like two seconds. Okay, so now I'm going to section the hair off. This is the easy way for me to cut a bob. I always do this. So I just leave some sides out, as you can see. And then I just tie a little ponytail, a loose ponytail, back there like that. And then just cut going up, upwards. So now I made a mistake and cut below the freaking rubber band. Like, duh, I supposed to cut above the rubber band. <laughs> but whatever. That's all I did. And that's how it looks when you finish doing it like that it's not gonna be perfect but it just helped a little bit on where to cut when you cut a bob now I'm just going to cut the sides going downwards like an angle now the hard part is me cutting on my left side I have to try to cut with my left hand because I'm not left-handed but I tried y'all I tried <laughs> Just bumping the ends and me doing this kind of helps me you know know where to cut you know when I would use my clippers or my scissors I go kind of how the ends are bumped go downwards following the bump ends so yeah that's basically what I'm doing right here taking the clippers and going downwards
I'm basically done with all the cutting. So I'm just going to tie up my leave out. And I'm going to show you how I tie up my bob. This is what I do when I tie it up. So you can see how it looks. Because I did put some olive oil edge control and hairspray on my leave out. Because I am fully natural. So yeah, that's how it looks. I love the color. It is so pretty. Now like I said, it's not going to be perfect. Like I still have to work on the back. But as you can see on the side, it's darker. It's because I did put one track of color 1B on the left side. making my bob uh, this is like the hardest thing for me to do is make a freaking bob because I have to cut it myself on my head I cannot do it on a mannequin head at all I have to do it on my head <laughs> again this is 99J color it's very pretty 99J I got all my hair from my local beauty supply store and I have a pack and a half in my head plus a invisible part closure so this is my little removable bob my U part bob whatever <laughs> have a little bit of my leave out out and what I use to blend in my leave out is some edge control and some hairspray and then I tied it up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.